Namun, saya melihat adanya unjuk rasa penolakan Undang-Undang Cipta Kerja yang pada dasarnya dilatar belakangi oleh disinformasi mengenai substansi dari Undang-Undang ini dan hoax di media sosial. Dengar dulu, Anda enggak tahu apa yang saya maksud. Dengar dulu. Diam, Anda diam. Berarti kan dia ayo. Eh, 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 eh. Saya ngomong. Penyebaran berita bohong atau hoax dan sentimen negatif mengakibatkan ketidakpercayaan, konflik, ancaman bahaya dan krisis. Gerbang kantor DPRD Jawa Tengah. the era of advanced digital information, the spread of fake news and hoax has become rampant. People are easily influenced by false information. Political, ethnic, and religious issues are often used as weapons to manipulate public opinion. Tensions among social groups are escalating, leading to conflict that harm innocent individuals. The problem of differing opinions, civil war, politics, ethnic and religious conflict, as well as the high prevalence of hoax in Indonesia, have reached their peak. Currently, a nation appears divided, and social tensions are intensifying. Indonesia is a country abundant in cultural elements and diversity. Our people are known for being friendly and respectful towards one another. However, sometimes because of this characteristic, Indonesian people tend to accept information without verifying its accuracy. Because of this, we create an application called OAC. It was inspired by the concept of an oasis. Just like an oasis in desert area, we hope this app can provide refreshment for users in the midst of the spread of fake news. If you pay more attention, doesn't the pronunciation of OAC seem familiar to you? Yes, we want users to have a better understanding of the news until they say, Oh, I see, to express their comprehension. Hello, my name is Alfian, and I'm from Machine Learning Banking. With OAC, you can easily distinguish reliable information from fake news through its authenticity percentage feature. This powerful tool empowers you to navigate the overwhelming digital landscape with confidence, providing clear assessment of news veracity. Additionally, OASIS innovative sentiment comparison feature presents diverse perspectives on topics of interest fostering a well-rounded understanding and promoting empathy amidst polarization. Furthermore, the convenience of OASIS news summaries condense articles into concise yet comprehensive summaries, delivering a key point efficiently. With OASI, you'll have access to accurate news, a comprehensive understanding of various perspectives, and an efficient reading experience. My name is Krishna Mukni. I'm from Machan Learning. OIC, a user-friendly app, offers multiple benefits such as fake news detection, sentiment analysis, and news summarization. It fosters collaboration among social media citizens, establishes partnership with news organizations, and injects reading awareness. Despite competition, eternal South and reliance, and also language limitation, our application has emerged as a leading tool for literacy and education, accessible to all Indonesian users. Hello, my name is Hamam, and I'm from Cloud Computing Learning Path. Our first target market is general citizens, aged 25 to 40, from diverse professions, they seek to create new sources and are concerned about fake news. Their goal is to make informed decisions, they have family hobbies and interests. Next, we have social media citizens, aged 18 to 30, including influencer and content creator. They heavily rely on social media for news, but worry about its authenticity. 
staying up to date with trends and engaging on social media are their priorities. Lastly, journalists or researchers, age 25 to 65 and beyond, play a crucial role in news reporting, fact-checking, and research. They require reliable tools to verify news accuracy. Their interests lie in investigative, investigative journalism and staying up to date. Hello, my name is Vina from Machine Learning Team. So, I'll explain the roles of each pet in making this application. First, the Machine Learning Team collected, cleaned, and combined the dataset. Then we utilize advanced machine learning techniques to develop the model, including convolutional neural networks or CNN for fake news filtering, k-means clustering for sentiment analysis, and algorithms for text summarization based on sentence similarity. Second, the cloud computing team designed the database schema using MySQL workbench, create and test the API, input the dataset into cloud SQL, then deploy the API and the model. Lastly, the mobile development conducted research on user needs and performed UX studies, such as designing the application with user personas, flowcharts, design, and prototypes, then implemented it in Android Studio using the Kotlin language. Hi, I'm Nicole from Mobile Development. To improve the quality of the application, we will carry out application development in the form of Provide open space for user interaction feature Initiate research and development of image and video-based fake news detection Utilize image processing and video analysis technologies to improve the app's ability to recognize fake or misleading visual content Conduct intensive testing and validation to ensure the accuracy and reliability of the news detection in the visual context. Hello, my name is Tobias Martin. I'm from Cloud Computing Team. Because our project is fully managed in cloud based, it will spend security expenses for cloud service and our salary. For one time expenses, we will spend more in our devices needed. In the future development, we spend more in our research and production. Here is the number of costs. Next is our estimation in the future for source income, priority, and strategy for the future. And next, this is our budgeting expectation based in 5,000 and 10,000 for the on OAC apps. Elevate your news experience to new hike with us. Download our app now and discover the truth in a world of misinformation.